In this video, we will prove the properties of multiplication of complex numbers. For this, we firstly we will firstly prove associative law of multiplication of complex number. To prove this law, let consider z1 is equal to x1 y1, z2 is equal to x2 y2, and z3 is equal to x3 y3 belong to R2 B any complex numbers we know that a complex number z is equal to x y which can also be written as x plus iota y where R2 is the set of all complex numbers. To prove the associative law of multiplication of complex numbers, we have to prove that Z1 multiplied by Z2 multiplied by Z3 is equal to Z1 multiplied by Z2 multiplied by Z3. For this, first consider Z1 multiplied by Z2 multiplied by Z3, which is equal to X1, Y1 multiplied by X2, Y2 multiplied by X3, Y3. We will firstly multiply the complex numbers which are written inside the bracket x1 y1 can be written as x1 plus iota y1 and x2 y2 can be written as x2 plus iota y2 now we will multiply it when x2 is multiplied by x1 we get x1 x2 when we will multiply x2 with iota y1 we get x2 y1 iota and when we multiply iota y2 with x1 we get x1 y2 iota and when iota y2 is multiplied by iota y1 we get minus y1 y2 because we know that iota square is equal to minus 1 so here we will write the first component as the real part which is x1 x2 minus y1 y2 so we will write first component as x1 x2 minus y1 y2 where the second component is the imaginary part which is the number that are written with iota which are x1 y2 plus x2 y1 so we will write second component as this number x1 y2 plus x2 y1 multiplied by x3 y3 which is equal to Now we will multiply this number with x3, y3 in the same way. You can multiply it separately and check it that whether the value that I am going to write is correct. We get x3, x1, x2 minus y1, y2 minus y3 into x1 y2 plus x2 y1 this is the first component and the second component is x3 x1 y2 plus x2 y1 plus y3 into x1 x2 minus y1 y2 
so this is the second this is the second component and we will further rearrange it now we will prove the second property which is the multiplicative identity of complex number we know that the complex number one which can also be written as one zero or one plus zero iota belong to r to the set of all complex numbers and it satisfies the condition one dot z is equal to z dot one equal to z for all z is equal to x y belong to r2 now we will verify this condition here 1 dot z can be written as 1 0 multiplied by x y we will we know that 1 0 can be written as 1 1 plus 0 iota and x y can be written as x plus y iota now when we multiply x with 1 we get x when x is multiplied by 0 iota we get 0 iota times x when y iota is multiplied by 1 we get 1 times iota y when i y iota is multiplied by 0 iota we get minus y times 0 because iota square is equal to minus 1 now we will write the real part as the first component which is x minus 0 times y and in the second component we will write the imaginary part which is with iota which is 1 into y plus 0 into x which can be written as x and y which is equal to z in the same way you can prove that z is equal to z dot 1 so the one is the multiplicative identity of the complex numbers now we will discuss the property of multiplicative inverse of complex number for this for each non-zero complex number z is equal to x y belong to r2 such that x is not equal to 0 or y is not equal to 0 it means that one of them should be non-zero there exist the complex number z inverse such that z inverse is equal to 1 by z which can be written as 1 by x plus iota y since z is equal to x plus iota y which is equal to 1 by x plus iota y and we rationalize it so we will multiply and divide it with x minus iota y divided by x minus iota y which is equal to x minus iota y divided by x square minus iota square will be minus 1 and y square which is equal to x minus iota y divided by x square plus y square 
which is equal to x by x square plus y square plus iota into minus y divided by x square plus y square we can also write it as x by x square plus y square and the second component will be the imaginary part which is minus y divided by x square plus y square so according to the multiplicative inverse property z multiplied by z inverse is equal to 1 which is equal to z inverse into z now we will multiply z by z inverse which will be equal to x y multiplied by x by x square plus y square minus y by x square plus y square which is equal to i will directly substitute its value you can separately multiply it which is equal to x square by x square plus y square plus y square divided by x square plus y square minus x y divided by x square plus y square plus x y divided by x square plus y square which is equal to x square plus y square divided by x square plus y square and uh, here one value is positive and one is negative so it will become zero and it is equal to one zero which can also be written as one plus zero iota which is equal to one thus the complex number z inverse is called the multiplicative inverse of z since z inverse is equal to x divided by x square plus y square minus y divided by x square plus y square has the property that z into z inverse is equal to 1 for all z is equal to x y belong to r2 so z inverse is the multiplicative inverse of complex numbers in the same way you can prove that z into z inverse is equal to 1 we have proved that you can prove that which that 1 is equal to z inverse into z following the same step now we will discuss the commutative law of multiplication of complex number for this consider for any complex numbers z1 is equal to x1 y1 z2 is equal to x2 y2 belong to r2 which is the set of all complex numbers z1 multiply by z2 is equal to x1 y1 multiplied by x2 y2 which is equal to x1 x2 minus y1 y2 and the second component is x1 y2 plus x2 y1 we can also write it as x2 x1 minus y2 y1 x2 y1 plus y2 
x1 which is equal to x2 y2 multiplied by x1 y1 which is equal to z2 multiplied by z1 so commutative law for multiplication of complex number holds from the uh, properties 1 2 3 and 4 for the non zero elements of R2 form an ability an abelian group under multiplication means that from the property 1 2 3 and 4 we can say that the non-zero complex numbers form an abelian group under multiplication 